Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Technomancer with your host, Nighthawk. Um, been doing a bit more work. I've started using a new uh, quarry script for the turtles, and that's working much better. I've talked a little bit about it on the uh, CryptoCraft episodes earlier this week. Well, I guess Monday, since this is Tuesday's episode. Um, I'm recording this on Easter. And just doing a f bit of uh, housekeeping here and there. And it's basically, whoops, we don't want to put that in the furnace. We want to put that here. Uh, it's basically to the point where we need to set up a small, well, at least we'll start small. We might end up expanding this later, but we need to set up a little bit of industrial craft stuff in order to really do much more right now. So, I mean, in order to make an anvil, we need to have a compressor, which means we need to have power and different things like that. So, that is what we are going to do today. I went over near our, uh, near the turtle mining area, which is that direction, about, oh, a thousand blocks or so. And picked up some saplings for the rubber trees. And I've already stuck those into the system, so we should have a little bit of rubber here. And what I'd like to do, but I don't really have the resources at the moment. Uh, looked at the quartz. Right now we're really low on quartz again. Uh, show a little bit about what we have done here and why we are low on quartz. So. Basically, if you look at these, the green means that there's room on those particular modules. Orange means that the uh, it's reached the maximum number of types of items stored. In this case, it may basically means that all of these are pre-formatted, so there's a limited number of items that they can take. But uh, this is the big one here. So I've got our first 16K storage unit now which, uh, yeah, much bigger storage device. I'd like to get most of the storage into this, uh, up to this level. It's gonna take a while to get there, but that's not a huge deal, really. Uh, main thing it takes is just loads of quartz, because it takes, uh, if we look at the storage, it takes, why is the, well, I don't know why the storage cell is not showing up here. Oh, there it is. It just looks different. Different background makes it look different. Interesting. Anyway, to get one of these takes four quartz cell or quartz crystals. Then you upgrade it to a storage segment with three of those. So now we're up to 12 of the uh, quartz crystals just to make one storage segment. And the 4K storage unit uses one of these. The 16K storage unit uses one of these storage blocks, which takes three of the storage segments. So we're now, we're now up to 36 quarts for one 16K device. And then if we go even further, the storage cluster needs three of those storage blocks. So it takes even more quarts. Uh, I think the bigger ones are worth it, especially when you get into, when you take into account the uh, drives that you need in order to have multiple, uh, m too many of the storage devices. But uh, yeah, we'll be making more of those bigger storage devices as we go. Uh, still got some room left in here. And nope, no more quartz yet. So. I have not had, whoa, I have not gotten enough quartz dust. Well, I might have had enough to do it earlier, but I used it all on making the 16K storage device and a couple other devices, but I haven't gotten enough to connect the Thumbcraft tree quite yet. And I really want to get that done before I do too much more Thumbcraft, just because as it stands now, it's a real pain to get stuff or to a uh, find items to use for research because I have to run back and forth and I don't have enough inventory space and 
in general, it's just a bit of a pain. So once I get the cable connected, then we'll probably do some more Thomcraft. In the meantime, let us get to making our... Uh, making the tools with of which we need the industrial craft machines we're just going to make a bunch of those and now we need to make a circuit for the let's see is it refined iron that it needs for a circuit let's go back to our compressor that way we can look easier. We need refined iron or aluminum ingots. We can't make aluminum ingots yet. If we use electrum, then we get two circuits. Let's see, which was electrum? Gold and silver? Gold and silver. So let's grab some gold ingots and some silver. And let's make some Electrum. Whoops. There we go. Uh, I do still need to make a recipe for this. There we go. And we also need to cook a bit more iron into refined iron. So let's stick that in the powered furnace. Now, in the meantime, we can take the Electrum and piece of refined iron, and we get two electronic circuits. So that's perfect. Now, what else did we need? We need stone. We have some of that. We're going to make our compressor first, and then we will make a generator for it and what I'm going to do is make a geothermal generator because we have loads of what are all of the oh man that's a pain because all of these go in the generator it shows their stats the whole way through so we need a battery, some refined iron, and an iron furnace. Or we need a furnace. So this takes 8, 9, 10, 11, or 8 iron. I think we want this option. So let's make ourselves another machine block. There we go. And the battery is going to be 10, uh, let's see, copper wire on top, if I remember correctly, and some redstone. Let me guess, the redstone goes here. I think this is the way it's supposed to be. I always forget these recipes. And especially once I get this thing... Okay, give me. Why won't you give me? It won't let me take it. Let's take all of these and we'll craft it over here. So, tin on the sides, redstone there. There we go. That was weird. Oh, we also need to make a furnace to stick in here. You can see we have a ridiculous excess of cobblestone, over 138,000. Um, the new mining program that I'm using is going to help with that a little bit. What do I need to make this geothermal? Empty cells is 10. And glass and some refined iron. Uh, yeah, the new program will help because it does not 
uh, instead of mining everything in the entire uh, block, the entire mining area, it only mines the blocks that you actually want. Well, I should say it this way. It ignores blocks that you don't want, that you tell it to ignore. So if you tell it that you don't want the uh, stone and the um, you tell it you don't want stone and dirt, then it will only mine the stone and dirt that it has to in order to run the uh, do the rest of the program. It will ignore uh, basically two thirds of the stone and dirt, which is very very helpful. It also does a better job of cleaning out everything around the bedrock layer. So I will probably put a link to the program in the description of this video. I'm going to put our generator here. I th no, here. Oh, well, that's not going to work. Uh... Let's see. I guess we can come over and up. What is right here? Well, I guess we'll go and we'll put our next machine right here. We'll figure this out. There we go. So now we need some liquiduct to connect that. Uh, but yeah, I'll try to remember to put a link to this program in the description. So I have an obsessive habit of checking to see if any new stuff has come in. Uh, well, I could have looked back there. Liquiducts are not in that chest. That was not them. Am I out of liquiducts? I may be out. I am out of these liquiducts. So let's see, we've got... I made some more hardened glass. So we got some copper. Let's make 16 more for now. Uh, we also need the copper wire, because we need to be able to connect this. Uh, eventually we will add... probably add things like battery boxes and different things like that. For the moment, uh, not really necessary. Okay, there we go. And I mean, I and I also don't want to put too much focus on the uh, industrial craft part of things here. I don't have the wrench down here. Oh, there it is. I thought I'd made a, uh, the prototype Omni wrench. Oh well, that works. Okay, so this is filling up with power. It's already done actually running to fill up the compressor. See, he's full of power and he's full of lava. And this is low on lava right now. Oh, there it goes. There it's filling up again. So you can see the lava station in the nether is doing quite well. Still working fantastic. Uh, Magma Crucible is actually out of nether rack. Um, if we ever start having lava supply issues, then we'll have to add nether rack back to that engine. Or to the magma crucible that is. And now let's. We are going to need to take and toss a bunch more iron in there. And let's take and toss some iron in here. And make a couple of iron blocks. Now let's also, while we're at it, while we wait, so what we want is an anvil. So we need three iron blocks and some more iron ingots. 
And the reason why we want an anvil is it gives us a way of combining soul shards. Now that does mean that we are consuming both levels and the diamonds required to make the shards. But for some things like the blaze, this might be a better option. What are we doing here? Iron. There we are. And there's going to be other things that we need to make blocks of, so having the compressor is not a bad thing. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to focus too much on industrial craft, but there are going to be some things that we need. And something else that I would like to do is set up a turtle charging station and get out probably make another mining turtle I'll probably need I think I have enough diamond yeah I've got plenty of diamond to make another diamond pickaxe to, to uh, make one more di uh, mining turtle and charge it up so that it can run for an extended period of time Ooh. Okay, so we need iron. And what we're going to do is we are going to test out the shard combining with a shard that is going to be pretty easy to recreate if we need to. So we got this tier 1 chicken shard and Let's just say that chickens are not an issue. We have our uh, amazing... Let's check our roof real quick while we're up here. Awesome. Uh, we have our amazing little chicken egg farm that is just over there. The double chest is completely full of eggs, so we don't really have an issue with um, with chickens. We can always make... We can always get more chickens. So if we put in the tier 0 with 21 kills blaze shard and add this uh, chicken shard to it, we get a tier 2 blaze shard. And it costs us a whopping one level. That's almost feels cheaty, but... That is definitely the way to... Oh, I see... I see wisps. I've had a little bit of a weird thing start happening to the world since I moved it over to a server. I hear you, wisp. Where are you? There you are. I need some wands. Ooh, that got him. And we got a wispy essence. Awesome. Um, yeah, I've had a weird thing with the world. Uh, you can see my flux in this area is minimal. If I go over here, it's moderate. But when I log into the world after you know a day or two of not playing on this world, depending on what I've been up to. Uh, this area right in here, up on this hill, and around this area, has been absolutely packed with wisps. And I really haven't, I mean, I haven't done anything with Thomcraft in quite some time. So you'd think if there, even if there was a an issue with the aura, you get out. Go. Oh. Dang guy. Um, yeah, even if there was an issue with the aura, it should be resolved. I mean, it should resolve itself by now. So it's really kind of weird. Now, I'm also curious. So that went up from... That basically gained one level over the chicken shard to become tier 2. What happens if we take another tier 0 shard? Let's come over here and grab 
A stack of eggs. And just... Hey. Okay, so there's tier zero on that shard. One kill. Let's see what this does this time. Let's put our blaze in the front. Stick him there. And one kill now turns this into a tier three shard. So yeah, it does eat up diamonds, but that is a much easier way of building up these shards, even if it does take the diamonds. I think, especially with the turtles going again, and as long as I keep up the uh, with the storage requirements, I may see if I can find a way to dump, uh, to effectively dump out a bunch of this cobblestone. Um, maybe I'll even put some of this, uh, maybe I'll even invest a little bit more into the uh, industrial craft side and the Greg Tech side in particular and make a scrap boxinator with a recycler and just have the uh, set up machines so that it automatically keeps Oh, you make a large electric buffer to make small ones. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I may make a um, make one of these scrap boxinators, one of these, and make a uh, recycle a recycler, and set up an auto crafting table to make all of this cobblestone. So yeah, a hundred over a hundred thousand cobblestone in here. And there's, I don't have any use for that much cobblestone, ever. I mean, there's no way I'd ever use it. So maybe I'll make use of it in that way. We're going to toss some of this into the furnace. I also need to have, uh, set up a little bit of a processing system that would export, you know, maybe I can change which item it's, it's exporting. Yeah, just choose an item and put it in there to export, but just uh, automatically process materials. I guess I could do that. All I need is one export bus right here, come to think of it, and then set up... Can I make one of these? Did it make? It did make. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and change this to accept from the right, let's turn off, we'll turn that to the top, and we're going to export everything to the left, and let's grab this. Now what we're going to do is, let's see, if I put this uh, cobble in there, I'm just going to make sand and gravel that's going to get clog up the um, it's going to clog up the furnace here but if I put one of these see now it's going to just keep loading up iron ore into this pulverizer which is then going to put the iron ore into the powered furnace and the powered furnace is exporting the is pushing the items into another uh, interface that's just below it so now, this is basically automatically processing the iron ore that I have built up. Let's take that out. There we go. Hey, that will do. I like that. That way, um, and it's still partially manual, I still have to change what it's processing. But that's perfectly fine, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, that will help to process the... You know, 300 iron ore that I've got. I've actually got 700 pulverized iron ore because I was just sticking the uh, iron ore into the pulverizer. But uh, I may even... I may even change this a little uh, arrangement a little bit later on. I could even add another powered furnace right here. And, well, I'd have to set up an interface to it, but that can be done. 
So now I've got seven quartz, eight quartz of dust. So getting there. Um, I need about 20 more quartz dust to connect the tree fort, I think. Somewhere in that neighborhood. But uh, anyway, this is probably going to be about it for this episode. I'm going to finish charging up this soul shard, and I think we will shortly be setting up a blaze spawner in this area. Probably out, uh, out a little ways so that we can set it up where we can... Uh, and we'll set it up with an automatic killing system that's hooked into the ender chest so we can collect all the items in nice and easy and because we do need blaze rods for a variety of things as well but I think that's gonna do it for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time have a great night bye